What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know, long time no see. Um, I'm gonna get into, you know, where I've been in the video, but I just wanted to give you guys my everyday kind of makeup routine. Um, I don't really wear makeup every day, but when I do, this is like kind of what I, you know, put on. This is what I do. So it's normally just a regular everyday look, not too much going on on the eyes or anything. Um, but you know, it's looking like you really tried without really trying that hard. So yeah, um, please subscribe if you're not already. I know I'm kind of a flop. I uploaded one video like a year ago, never saw me again. It's not gonna happen again, okay? We have some technical difficulties. I'll explain in the video, but please subscribe for more videos. I promise this time I'm coming back for more. And if you have any questions, comments, anything, leave it down below. And if you wanna know how I do my makeup every day, just keep watching. Okay, so first, I'm gonna just put my hair back and get out of my face because that's the most annoying part about doing your makeup is having your makeup on your face the entire time. It's so annoying. Oh, my mirror's right here, so if I'm looking in this direction, that's what I'm looking at. But yeah, let's get into it. For my first video, I did like kind of like a get ready with me story time with my friend Carly, um, Glam by Carly T. And I didn't really mention the products that I used because <laughs> I was telling a story. Um, but I figured this was the perfect opportunity to tell you guys everything that I use. Um, this is, I don't wear like makeup every single day, but when I do wear makeup, this is normally like what I do. So first I'm gonna prime my face. This is the Farsali Skin Tune Blur Primer. Um, I've been using it for a couple months now maybe. And it's really good. I think I like maybe got a bad, a bad one um, because it doesn't like come out very, liquidy as you can see so I kind of end up just rubbing it on my face <laughs> all right but yeah I'm gonna put as much of this on my face as I can at least I was never like big on priming like when I f like first started wearing makeup I never did this shit. like prime my face like for what as you can see, my face is pretty like matte looking a little bit. It kind of, it, it does something. I don't know. Am I just telling myself that to justify buying it? So anyway, now I'm gonna go in with my foundation. Now this foundation I've been using ever since it came out. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, this is in the shade Chai. I was using, before Jackie and Ina extended the um, Born This Way collection, I was using the Born This Way concealer, but I never used the foundation because I never found a shade for me. Um, and like the foundation, it always like made me so angry because the concealer was so good. Um, and I just wanted to try the foundation, but I couldn't because there was no shade for me. I literally use this every time I do my makeup. I'm so obsessed with it. It's amazing coverage. It's just great. I'm gonna pump some on the back of my hand and I'm gonna use my beauty blender. And it may not look like it matches me yet, but it will. <laughs> I promise. I also get my ear. I don't know, I'm just kind of like always worried about looking two different tones. Always get your neck too. Don't forget your neck. I know I've only uploaded one video <laughs> prior to this one, um, but the, a lot of stuff happened, okay? I didn't just like upload one video and then like gave up. I was, well, first of all, that video was filmed on my friend's camera. So I, at the time, didn't even like have my own camera, so. It was a little difficult to go to my friend's house because she doesn't live in New York, so, um, which is where I live. So it was kind of, we didn't always like get to hang out. Um, so it was kind of difficult to arrange for times for like me to like use her camera, which she was so sweet and let me use her camera to film, which I'll forever love her for. But yeah, I just had to get, an, I just had to get one um, myself. So that would be easier for me to film. Um, and then, you know, I, I buy a camera and then my, my freaking laptop gives out on me. And she was a mess for a little bit, okay? She was a mess. 
but now we're back in business we're good everything's fine but yeah i just blend my foundation for a little while actually um one of my friends actually pointed out how long i blend my foundation and she asked me like why i do it for so long and i'm like i mean you just gotta make sure everything's together honey if you use a beauty blender to put foundation on um make sure you like wring it out well because if you don't then um this is a sponge so it's just gonna absorb like most of your product okay so once i feel like i've hit my face enough with this beauty blender <laughs> Um, I move on to concealer. I'm also going to use the Born This Way uh, multi-use sculpting concealer. This is in the shade Chestnut. And I'm going to use this under my eyes and, you know, regular concealing areas. Normally, I do way too much under here, but I've been trying my very hardest <laughs> to not do too much. But every time... I end up like this. But I have to make it even on both sides. Like, why wouldn't I? You know what I mean? I'm gonna get my cupid's bow and my chin. And then I'm also gonna hit the bridge of my nose. <clears throat> as well as a little bit on my forehead. I don't do that much on my forehead, but I hit it a little bit. And I'm gonna use my beauty blender again. Just to blend it out. Make sure when you do your under eye concealer, you kind of look up just so you don't get any creases and you can get every nook and cranny of your under eye area. So I just filmed a video on my hair care routine, like my wash day, and how I straighten my hair and everything. And you know what? I cannot wait. For outside to open i hope you guys are staying safe and washing your damn hands but i was doing my hair and like i i really hate doing my own hair i genuinely do i don't enjoy it it's not fun it takes all day i just don't like it i'd rather go to a dominican salon and get my wash and set and go home but when i do it myself it's like five six seven eight hours like it's just so long I hate it, but I gotta do it right now. Salons are not open, but it just makes it, every time I do my hair, it makes me realize how much I hate doing my hair. So after I do my concealer, I kind of just um, keep blending my entire face. I think that kind of helps get like a really flawless finish is just make sure everything is blended well, looks seamless. So before I set my face, I'm gonna just do my brows really quick. And my brows are an interesting part of my makeup routine. I was never one to do my brows because like I don't, I just never felt the need to. They were never like really sparse or anything so I never really had to fill them in that much. But as of maybe like a year or two, three, three, maybe three years ago, I kind of got into brows. It's, it's pretty quick for me because one, I, I mean, I don't know if it looks good or not. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Dylan, please. But, um, I don't know like if it even does anything, you know, but I, I do something and I feel like if I don't do anything that it doesn't look complete and that I look weird. I don't know, because everyone talks, oh man, I can't, just not, I can't not do my brows. Like, it's not a finished deglin. Like, I know, like, please. So I'm just gonna use my brow pencil. I'm so sorry. So this is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. It's really, really nice. It's creamy. It glides on pretty well. I have no complaints about this. Um, I used to use... I was using um, the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, um, but I just didn't want to always like use a pomade to do my brows. I just wanted something like really quick sometimes. Like I'll I'll use that when I'm going somewhere and I you know want them to you know what I mean. But I just need something one two three and we're done. And that's exactly what this pencil is. Oh my God, Deglin. I'm sorry, this dog 
is crying. So then when I go to the front of my brow, I don't, oh God. I try to just like have a really light hand when I'm at the front of my brow so I get that like fade effect, you know? Is there a difference? I never see a difference. Like, am I doing something wrong? I don't know. I never see a difference. I'm gonna go over to my other brow and just brush it again really fast. Oh God, almost broke the pencil and that would have been tragic. So I'm just gonna do the exact same thing to this eyebrow. Again, don't know if it's doing anything. If you see a difference, let me know in the comments. I would love to know. In the front, I'm just... So on this brow, I kind of had like a little gap right here. I don't know if you saw it before I put product on it, but I have a little gap and it never bothered me. It kind of looked cute to me, whatever, but that's the only difference I ever really see. All right, I'm gonna shut up. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, she's good. She's beauty, she's grace. Um, sorry for the rattling, I don't know where my stuff is. I was not prepared. Okay, so with this whole carving thing, again, don't know if it's making a difference. I'm, I'm just gonna keep reiterating it, reiterating it because I don't know. I don't, okay? I don't, this is just what I do. I'm gonna take my concealer and this is a trick that I learned from a YouTuber named Nazanin Kavari. In one of her really old videos, she made this really good point. So I think it looks really bad when girls have the like halo eyebrow, like you put like a light ass concealer on the bottom and the top of your brow to carve it out. It, it looks crazy. It looks so crazy. I don't like that. So, those are, so that's why I never really like try to learn how to carve my brows because I don't want them to look like that. And I didn't know there's any other way to do it. I didn't think of this hack. So what she said is when you carve your brows, put foundation, your foundation shade on the top and then your concealer shade that you used on your face on the bottom to highlight it. My mind was blown. So I'm gonna take my foundation. I just put a pump of foundation and a little bit of concealer on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna take the foundation and I'm gonna carve on top of my brow. Okay. And I'm gonna do it on both sides, okay? I'm very bad when it comes to this side of my face. So, not very bad, I'm just really like the anxiety just kicks and kicks and kicks and she doesn't give up honey okay so hold on one moment. i'm sorry okay so i'm gonna blend out that foundation on the top now okay see again doesn't make a difference so now i'm gonna take another brush this is a random like color pop brush. And I'm gonna take my concealer, right? I'm gonna do the same thing, but under my brow. And I don't even put a lot, okay? You don't need that much. My eye always gets in the way. So for the bottom, I kind of just do the blending with the brush and then I take a beauty blender and I go over it again. All right, so let me know in the comments if you see a difference in my eyebrows. <laughs> so for setting my face, I'm gonna use the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. This stuff is incredible. Um, I'm gonna take the lid though from my Laura Mercier one because the lid on this, I can't like put product in here. It's like, you know. So 
I'm gonna put some on my nose. And I put a lot on my nose. I put a lot of powder on my nose. Start with under my eyes. When you're setting your under eyes, be sure that you're looking upwards um, so that you can prevent prevent your under eyes from creasing. And I'm gonna also get my chin, not my lip. <laughs> Ew, did I just lick that? And then I'm also gonna hit it on my forehead, five head, whatever you wanna call it. I'm also gonna do my smile lines. So I smile a lot, I laugh a whole lot, so my smile lines are always <laughs> creasing. What you do is you're just gonna puff your like mouth out a little bit so that it becomes smoother and then you set over it, so. I'm gonna get some more on my nose. Oh, not that much on my nose. Okay. I'm gonna close her. I'm also gonna put the like remainder of the product on my eyelid. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to bronzer. Um, this is kind of like a new thing for me. I don't know if I'm good at this either, okay? I'm, I just do what I watch the other YouTubers do, okay? This is the Fancy Beauty Sunstalker Bronzer and this is in the shade Mocha Mommy. I believe this is the darkest shade because I'm a dark <laughs> I'm gonna just put some product on this little angle brush. And I'm gonna try to look skinnier. Um, so I'm gonna go the hollows on my cheeks. If you go upwards, that gives you like a snatched look. So I'm gonna blend upwards, get my temples. Normally I don't bake. Normally I don't have this much powder on my face though, really. But um, I'm just showing for when I really want it to last like all day and it's a normal like every day kind of look for me. This is a little awkward. So the camera cut off and I didn't know. So I look very different, but I'll just walk through everything that I did. Basically I wiped off all the powder and I set my face with the Too Faced Born This Way um, multi-use complexion powder. This is just an all over setting powder and I have it in the same shade that I do in the foundation. So it's in the shade Chai. And then I also set my brows with the Anastasia um, brow gel. I contour my nose. So something that I was saying, when you contour your nose, when you contour your nose, you want to blend all the way up, up to your eyebrow. So you want it to look like one like long, natural looking bone. So you're gonna blend, blend, blend all on the sides and you're also gonna go up, up, up into your like crease area. My eyes, I really don't use like eyeshadow on a day-to-day -day basis. If I do want to use eyeshadow, it's gonna be very minimal like this, just a simple brown color on my lid. So I used um, from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab. This is from like her vault collection. This is the Ring the, Ring the Alarm palette. And I use the shade Mugshot. It's kind of just like, a skin tone color for me so I just put it all over my lid and then I just deepened um, my crease up with the color secret so I just kind of like dabbed a little bit into my crease and I kind of just blend it blended it and then I also took the shade boom and I put that just in the center of my lid um, and then for my inner corner I took my Jackie Ina palette and I used the shade Trust Issues. Um, it's a really, really pretty color that it looks white in the palette, if you can see. And then when you put it on, it like looks like so different. It's like so multicolored, it's so pretty. So I always like putting that in my inner corner. Um, and then for my eyeliner, what I used was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner. This is a pretty new product, I'm pretty sure. It's really, really good. I really, really like how nice it is. My liner is not even, like it's not even at all. It's not, it's never this thick. I just, I'm kind of over it when it comes to these wings right now. But now I just curled my lashes with this like Revlon eyelash curler I've had for years. Um, and then, 
I'm going to put mascara on now. I always use two mascaras. Um, I, I don't know why, I just, I just need to. So for my first one, I'm gonna use the Benefit Their Real Mascara. This is just something that I'll never let go of. This is something that I will always repurchase. Something I always kind of like never understood was there's so many high-end mascaras out there and it's just like, why? You can go to CVS and get L'Oreal Telescopic. That's gonna be like 10 times better than a lot of those high-end mascaras. Like you don't need a high-end mascara. This is the most expensive mascara I've ever bought in my life. 24, 25 dollars, 28 dollars, whatever the hell it is, this is the most expensive one I've ever bought. Other than that, it's all Maybelline. So first, I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in Carbon Black. A trick to not get mascara on your eyelid is to hold a like little mirror and hold it like under so you're looking down at it. And I'm just gonna go up. And also like wiggle it a little. This mascara lengthens a lot, um, but I mostly use it for the volume it gives. And now this is where I start to go in. Okay, and then I'm also gonna take the telescopic and I'm gonna hit the bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back, I promise. So what I hate about this eye, sorry, I had to like just come back and like share this. Um, I hate how like my left eye, like the lashes are so much shorter than on my right eye. Like that's so rude. So for my last step, I like to do highlighter. So for highlight, I am really, really in love with this highlighter. It's the Kylie Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Chocolate Cherry. It's really good for, you know, darker skin tones. And I'm gonna take this Morphe M510 and I'm gonna hit my cheekbones, okay? This is my favorite part. We love Kylie. Just put like a little bit. Not too much, you know. But enough. So it tumbles a little bit, okay? Hit your nose, hit your bridge a little bit, hit your cupid's bow, okay? Go back on to your cheekbones. Oh, uh, we love. For like, under my brow bone, I'm gonna take a little blending brush. Tap off like a lot of it, because this stuff is pigmented. Just give myself a little brow lift. Okay, so now that I'm all done, highlighter, everything, and now I'm gonna set my face with setting spray. This is the most fun part, okay? I really love the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm kind of out of this, so I hope um, a lot comes out. <laughs> but I just like, I put it, like I angle it like downward, so it's like coming down on my face. And then I just. And then we fan, normally I have like an eyeshadow palette on hand. Okay, so that is my like everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please leave in the comments below um, what you'd like to see next from me, um, as well as any questions or anything about the products I used. I'm gonna put all of the products in the description box. So if you wanna get anything that I used or you wanna look into like a product that I mentioned, um, just check the description box down below. I'll also have my social medias. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, everything. I'll have everything linked down below. So please subscribe, come back for more. You stay to the end of the I literally just broke my setting spray. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys for watching.